Um, so y'all want to hit up this net? Y'all want to hit up the next topic? Yeah. Got time for y'all? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So the next topic is gonna be, and this for the people too. What are your expectations for the Atlanta Hawks for this season? Woo, boy. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna go last. I'm gonna go last. Hey man, I'm about to paint my belly like the uh, what you call that? Uh, the PSL, man. Woo, woo, woo. I, I, yeah. like that. I like that topic. Yeah. Hey, uh, now you that this basketball, my sport, man. Y'all know how I feel about uh, I think this team can be nasty, man. I'm just, I'm just gonna be honest. Um, I've never seen a player like Trey Young. And I don't think there's ever been a player like Trey Young because one thing about Trey Young is not only is he a great um, passer, it's like this, he's a great passer, like he's an elite passer. He can, I've seen him throw, you know, like dimes, you know, from half court, full like three fourths of court. Like this dude can throw dimes, and not only he's great facilitator and he wants to pass that's the crazy part he wants to pass but in the midst of that this dude can shoot from anywhere like Steph Curry and this is what I mean I've never seen a guy like this before Steve Nash was good but he didn't have Steph Curry range you know what I'm saying this dude has stupid range so my expectations for them you got a guy like Bogey. You got Cam Ritters, who I think is going to be a star. His defense, man, I think this team can really make some, some noise in the East. If they get high and they get enough um, defense, this team could quite possibly go to the Eastern Conference Finals and, and possibly to the, finals, uh, to the Finals. And I'm not exaggerating because these guys, they can outscore anybody. They can literally outscore anybody. When Trey is on – He's damn near unstoppable. So if they get enough defense, they can make it to the Eastern Conference Final. They can beat anybody in the East and the West if they play defense. All right. I guess I'll go next. Uh, let's see who just jumped in the chat. Uh, we got we got Moses from the A just got in here. We got the Beast Among Us. What's going beast on? Beast Among Us. What's Reggie, on, oh, check out, check out – uh, yeah, come join the – um. The Discord, man, we we always in there talking about Hawks, Braves, like oh, we talking about everything, there, man. Oh yeah, yeah, man, you got them join us in there too. Yeah, I'm about to say, don't be surprised you get one of these Atlanta United questions from me because they'll tell you I'm oh I'm soccer too, hey, man. I, hey, I'm I'm good with soccer. I'm I'm still learning. K style still teaching. Yeah, I'm learning. <laughs> I like I, I I love soccer, man. I love soccer myself. It's, can't it's, play it worth a crap, but I, I I can't play it. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there, learning the game, man. Yeah, yeah. But I was about to say on this one, I'll probably say that I probably say probably like if they play well, I'll probably say like a seven seed. The only reason why is I got to see this team get better on defense because you have yeah. to remember that. Yeah. Last year they was one of the worst defensive teams in all the NBA. Mm -hmm. They could yeah. score. But there was one. There was there's actually one offseason acquisition that nobody talks about. This team has gotten, and I said it's gonna be big for the Hawks. <laughs> it's gonna be Nate Nate McMillan. Is yes, sir. Yes, sir. One. We've been talking about that. Like, He's a defensive coach. He's a defensive coach. Yeah, and like I said. And then Rondo also being kind of like the secondary coach. Like Vince, Vince Carter was good as a mentor for the team, but for Trey Young specifically, Rondo is yeah. going to be good for him. Rondo is going to be huge for that dude. He's going to be huge, man. And Rondo is an underrated defensive point guard. That's that's another thing. He's an underrated guard, man. He's man, an underrated his ass, defensive coach. His ass is a prayer man. Is what do you expect? Yeah. <laughs> that dude is that dude is six one with a seven foot wingspan. That is a prayer man. Like I thought I had long arms. Um, that dude on um, boy, 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 boy. <laughs> that boy could, that, that boy could slap somebody from across the room. <laughs> call that call him Mr. Fantastic. Is yeah. <laughs> 
Got that stretch Armstrong looking motherfucker. Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, definitely. Like I said, I see. Like I said, if I see the defense improve a lot, mm-hmm. like people say Clint Capella and Chris Dunn. But the thing about it is, it's gonna have to be the rotational defense. It's gonna have to be how quickly can you pick guys up? Because if you mm-hmm. don't. So you have to see the thing about and Mike, you will attest to this in basketball, your defensive chemistry is a must. This this must gotta have everybody have you have yeah. to have a, a defensive rotation, have to have a nice defensive rotation where everybody feed off each other. And I that's why I think Rondo is going to kind of push Trey Young to pay just a little bit more, uh a little bit more aggressively on defense because Rondo. Rondo's like if he's not happy about this, this is what I like about Rondo. Um, but he can go a little bit overboard with it. Um, but he is a no nonsense type of guy. This is exactly what Trey needs right now in his career to teach him how, uh, like the small intricate details. You always hear me say about that about football, but the small intricate details and in basketball. Um, when to take plays off, like this is something that as a point guard, and that, like like I said, this is. Punk goes my first uh basketball was my first first love. And um you have to know when you can take breaks on when you're playing the game because you're gonna get tired, especially if you're a guard. You that's a lot of freaking running. That's a lot of freaking running, man. It really is a lot of running. So um he's gonna have to learn how to spell, uh give himself a break because if you didn't know anything about the Golden State Warriors, your boy Steph Curry, he can look like like he he'll be jogging down the damn he'll be jogging on down the court, and you think this dude he tired, and all of a sudden his little ass shoot <laughs> all the way around the court. He'll run all around the court two or three times, and then he'll grab the ball and shoot a uh, <laughs> blaze of three. These are the things that you got to learn how to do when and when not. To expand, uh, you know, take those breaks. So I think this is what Rondo is going to bring to um, to Trey Young to teach him, you know, when to expand. I think LeBron James does a great job of that, also of kind of uh, holding his his self back during, you know, in crunch crunch times, the most important times during the game. Okay, I know somebody uh, like I said, Harrison the Bunny say he don't know basketball. He's just a football nerd. Hey, like I said, that's. This show that what this show is hey, about. Gonna get you up yeah, yeah. yeah, we all and like like they said, if you ain't learning, you ain't living. That's about as simple as I can put it. Mm-hmm. You gotta be able to learn something here. But like I said, five fly for life. What's going on, peoples? And I see somebody said something like, "Why we ain't say nothing about Clint Capella?" Um, before I do that, J. Rock, what what like what, what are your expectations? I'm beginning to click Capella. Well, in. y'all know me. I talk about this all the time. Y'all know I'm not a Atlanta Hawks fan, but I do pay attention because you know my team is the Pistons. We in the East, so we mm-hmm. we in the same boat. But I know y'all pretty depth this year as far as big man goes. Y'all got like Gallinari now, Clint, and then y'all got mm-hmm. uh, was John Collins, right? Yep. Uh, so I, I I think y'all this year y'all like full in depth as far as like rotations go, like y'all was talking about. So it's not like you know, it, it, the East is up for grabs for anybody because we already know LeBron James is not over here no more. So anybody right. can make it out the East. <clears throat> exactly. But I ain't got really too much to say on on Atlanta. I just know you guys got a lot of, a lot of depth this year compared to last year because mm-hmm. of the trade I made. Yeah. Okay. Here's to the bunch. Say I know basketball. I just don't care about it. Okay. That's all good. That's all good. <laughs> hey. Hey. At least he's real hey. about it. Hey, I, hey, I, I, I look, I, I rather him be real about it than be fake. Yeah. <laughs> trying to pretend, trying to pretend <laughs> like you know it. <laughs> like I say, I'm not big on soccer. I love soccer, but I don't know much about soccer. Right, a lot of us still yeah. learning the other sports too. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's my thing. But yeah, like, like, um, they said about Clint Capella, it's all gonna depend on can he stay healthy. That's right. gonna be his only knock is can he stay healthy. Hmm. Because you basically got a younger Dwight Howard now. He's oh yeah, he's he is a, a rebounding machine. That yeah. dude is a rebounding machine. That and that that really is going to help um, 
the Hawks get a like as you know, Drummond for the Pistons, like this dude is a rebounding machine. It's like oh, it helps you get more opportunities okay, okay, on the side. Don't get me started on Drummond, man. I'm still hurt <laughs> from that well, trade. I love oh my god, I love that guy. I'm still hurt from that trade. <laughs> don't even talk about drumming. That 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 trade, we didn't get nothing for drumming. I'm so bad about that. Oh okay, okay. Harrison the Bunny said I played basketball before. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he said yeah, I played play. basketball before. I don't know nothing about it, but <laughs> yeah, but I played it. <laughs> oh, hey. oh, hold, hold on. I want y'all to hit this question right quick too. It says so. James Harden wants out of Houston. Would y'all be willing to trade for him as a fan? No. Hell no. no. I want this. I want this question first. I want this question first. <laughs> oh man. Uh, for one thing, James Harden looks like me right now. So whoa. He 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 on he on he on K Styles fast <laughs> side of the game that right now. Nice. But, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about James Harden's game is it's not. Like James Harden has to be the starting point guard. His game is not predicated on having another point guard on the team. We're just going to be mm -hmm. real. He has to be the only point guard. You also have to remember James Harden only, I think they said last year, he's only attempted 12 shots that weren't either three pointers or layups. So yes. you know he's either going to drive it or he's going to shoot the three. And with Trey Young, with Trey Young back there, see, like I said, Trey Young is a emerging point guard. He's not a complete point guard yet, but if you get James Hart down here to play with Trey Young, Trey Young is not going to develop. Mm -mm. I'm, like, I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna flip that question that he put. I'm gonna flip it. What team? This is for anybody in the chat. Uh, what team would y'all would like for him to go? What would be like the not perfect fit, but like. A decent fit. I'm gonna say Philly. It depends. You have to get <sighs> out of there. You gotta get Ben Simmons out of there. Yeah, that's the only way you're gonna be able to do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you I got to part way Simmons. Because I think I think what Harden is feeling, he's feeling how Westbrook and Durant are feeling. Like, hey, like. It seemed like we need to. I need to join another team, like a super team, in order to get where I need to go. Right, and that's what Westbrook and Harden. Well, that's what that's why Westbrook joined. Because, but we all knew that wasn't going to work out between him and Harden. Why do you think they both went out? What? I I always say this. Go ahead, Kate. Go ahead. No, 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 my bad, my bad. But I was basically going to say because they both have the same mentality. Like, yeah. um, there, there, there's an NBA stat that's out there that says about ball usage rate. Mm -hmm. And you in that top five is usually James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and John Wall. Yeah. So James Harden went from a guy that was behind him in ball usage to a guy that was two spots behind him in ball usage. It ain't going to work. Mm hmm. See, he needs see he needs a guy like a Derek Fisher type that don't want the ball. Just pass <laughs> me the ball and I shoot it. See, that's mm -hmm. the kind of point guards that guard he need to play next to. That's what I was like. If he would have stayed in Houston, John Wall would have been fine because you know John Wall is not really like a crazy crazy scorer. Mm hmm. No, nah, definitely not. But go ahead, Mike. What was you about to tell, tell him? Well, I, I think the perfect. I think that I, I don't ne necessarily think it's a perfect teammate, um, but it's uh, like a system. One of the reasons why Kobe Bryant was able to be, you know, to to play with anybody, uh, Michael Jordan, um, these types of guys, um, their style of play, like Russell Westbrook, um, James Harden, a lot of these guys are ball dominant. So in order to play in a ball, like for those types of players to be able to play in a ball dominant, uh, uh, play in a uh, system where he can be them like who they are, like you can still be Russell Westbrook. You can still be James Harden, but 
like the Bulls, like the um, the Lakers in that triangle offense. It's just a motion offense. They're stationary. Anytime you have a stationary team, everybody else is not getting in, in rhythm, and that's the problem. That's why they can't keep a lot of people – you know, a lot of people in, uh, in their system, nobody wants to play because they're not going to get shots. So in order for James Harden to be James Harden, he has to go to a system where he's where it's a motion offense. He cannot be stationary. And that's the that's the biggest like that isolation ball that they tried to uh, experiment under um, Mike uh, Dan and Tony, whatever the hell his name is. Yeah, I can Dan never, Tony. Dan Tony. Oh, oh, yeah. Mr. Dan Tony. I, <laughs> yeah, it's a it's an isolation that like that was they were destined to fail. A isolation offense for James Harden. Everybody's standing around looking at him shoot. So he has to go to a motion offense if he wants to be successful. That's it. That's why Clay. That's why Clay. That's why you can have all those shoes. You can have Kevin Durant, um, Curry, and Clay Thompson. Those three volume shooters. Volume. Both of the, all those guys get at least 25 shots a game. That's the only way that it worked because it was a motion offense. You, Everybody's going to get shots. You're not going to get shots if you're playing in a, uh isolation. So he got to go to a – he has to go to a, um, a motion offense. <laughs> Harrison the Bunny said James Harden looked like a double bacon cheeseburger from Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm, hey man, all I gotta say, man, I don't know what's going on with that dude, but damn, boy, I thought I was fat. Jesus Christ, that dude barely, whoo wee, ooh, that boy, <laughs> I don't, I don't need that money. If I look like that. If I better look <laughs> like that with no money, and he got yeah. money, and girl, yeah. that dude ain't. Hey, I was about to say, Drew said something too. He said, I want to see Harden play in Miami because they're a good defensive team and Jimmy Butler can play. Jimmy Butler and oh, James Harden, they're they they not, not going to get along. Because one James nah, Harden, they, they up, won't survive. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't surviving that, boy. If Jimmy going to get in the fight, they won. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look, y'all, hey, look, y'all thought Mad Mike and Big Low Country was entertaining <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. That shit right there is going Story of the oh, season that happened because Jimmy Harden is thick. That's and, hilarious. Uh, um, okay, Mark 504 said Harden and Westbrook and KD was who they were when they played together. Well, yeah, that's because yeah. Harden was really – he wasn't really, like, super known. He was just, all, like, that really good six-man that year. 